Hey everybody. So um, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to get this really cool textured sort of baked text effect. And whenever I was first designing my um, cover image for this, I, this was one of the first uh, covers that I had made. And it's nice, but I'm glad that I went with a more colorful one. But one thing that I like is I like this um, sort of a textural baked cake sort of effect that's happening on this lettering here without any icing on it, you know? And I'm going to show you how I got that effect, which I think is really cool. And first of all, so I'm going to take these off, take off the bumps, and I'm going to take you down to the font that I used as my guide. And now this is something I do a lot. And this um, is a good hack. Like if I'm doing some brush typography, whatever, I use a font as a guide all the time, you know, because why not? And it just helps you to, uh, you know, it's, it provides a good guide. But I could apply my effect directly to this, um, this word oven and it would look fine, I think. Um, let's just not like leave it like this. But you see it looks too perfect and I want to have um, more of a like natural cake sort of effect. So what I do, what I did in this case is I made a new layer above my text and I go to my brush and I went ahead and I just used my last brush in the collection which is like my icing brush which I use on ever I use for almost everything all my main work and let's see what's the size of it that's okay um, oh I think I might have already sized it down but anyway find a good size that works for you and what I did was I just used this font as a guide. And this font, by the way, just to give a shout out, this font I think is Mr. Chumley by my design mate, um, Simon Stratford. And I like, he makes some really cool quirky style fonts. So I'll just kind of use this as a guide here. And... This one's not turning out really perfect, but I took a little bit more time with it. Also, I have a video uploading at the same time that I am doing my tutorial and screencasting, so it might make my, my computer run a little slow. And as I have mentioned before, it is a little bit time for me to get a new computer. So that gives you the idea of what I was doing. So I made the N and let's see which one I used. Uh, okay, I did a really bad job tracing that on the fly, but I think this is a lighter background. So I used my main dark style or maybe my main medium. I think it was medium. Yeah, more or less. Yeah, that was it. So that's how I get it. And that what gives it like a more natural sort of cake effect. Because if somebody's really baking this, it's not going to be like super, super precise. So let's put the next layer on. So this is fast forwarding. So this is after I had traced it. And as you can see, it's like a little bumpy and it's not perfect. And by tracing the font rather than just applying the effect on this font in this way, it gives it a much more natural appearance. So I'm going to turn off the guide and then I'm going to put on the effects just so you can get a view and you see how cool that looks and that looks really textured and like it's baked but not even texture so um, I'm going to turn these off or no I'll show you what I used to draw these and this is the star brushes and I have these on two separate layers because I was playing with the idea of um, doing uh, just one side bumpy or whatever. So like here, I'll show you what I was playing with. I was playing with the idea of just maybe having this side be textured and this side be smooth and icing it, which is cool. You could totally do something like that. But, well, so let's turn that off. And what I'm gonna do is take a new layer and I'm gonna go and get my star brush. Actually, you could get any of the brushes. They're probably gonna all look a little bit similar because we're using the raised styles. So I'm gonna just get with the star brush here because that's what I used. 
and let's compare the width. I'm going to need to take this down at least two notches. Yeah, I think let's move it up one. I think that might be fine. So I'm going to use my raise styles. So this one I believe is, I think I had used medium. Let's click on raised medium and see how that looks. Nope, that's too light. It's raised dark. Oh, that's a dark style. All right. So I think I might have to take my star down just a little bit. So I've got the raised styles on there and the raised styles is like what you see here. So it's very subtle and it gives this raised sort of cake appearance, you know, um, a really cool textured, but like, it's not like a different color cake. It's the cake, but it's molded or whatever. So what I did was I just, I didn't just run the brush like this because that was, although you could, if you just go like this, it's, that's okay and that gives it a different effect. But I think what I did is I kind of spaced them out a little bit. So I stamped like this. And yeah. And that just kind of gives that raised effect and you can't even really tell it's a star. But that's not a bad thing in this instance. And I kind of spaced them not perfectly, so I don't worry about getting them perfect. Like that. And then go through this one. And just stamp them. And you see how it just makes it look like the cake is raised and textural. And that is how easy it is to get that really cool baked sort of style and that it has a texture and it's not perfect so it looks fresh from the oven so hopefully you guys enjoyed that tutorial and um, if you have any questions just let me know